Project Reusable Injector with 2.2 mm Bioject Cartridge. Biotech introduces new Project Reusable Metallic Injector to use with Bioject Cartridge to implant Biotech Hydrophobic range of IOLs. The system is compatible for IOL delivery through 2.2 to 2.4 mm incision size. This delivery system requires just a few steps to follow. Take out cartridge from sterile container. Inject adequate amount of any Biotech certified OVD from the backside of the cartridge as shown here. No need to overfill the cartridge with OVD. Take out holder containing IOL from sterile IOL container. Pick the IOL with help of forceps designed to be compatible with this cartridge. Insert the lens in inverted S position in the cartridge as shown here and ensure that front haptic is folded over the optic while placing the lens in the cartridge. Ensure that the front haptic doesn't remain unfolded or straight to avoid lens unfolding with posterior side up in the capsular bag. At this time, the cartridge must be held in bevel down position. Push the lens into the cartridge in such a way that it is placed beyond the narrow entry of the cartridge. Use the forceps to turn and place trailing haptic over the optic. Ensure that the trailing haptic is properly folded and is over the optic. If the trailing haptic remains improperly folded or straight, it may get trapped as shown and may damage the IOL while getting delivered. Now close the hands of the forceps and turn it 90 degrees as shown here and push the lens deep into the cartridge. Hold the cartridge with bevel down position and attach it with injector body as shown here and ensure that the cartridge is properly fitted in the slot pressing it down. Push the injector plunger further and observe the forward safe and smooth movement of the IOL under the microscope. Insert the cartridge tip in bevel down position into the incision. Push forward the plunger gently until the IOL is delivered in the eye. After IOL injection, remove the cartridge tip from the incision. In case leading haptic is straight or folded improperly as shown, while attempting the IOL delivery, the cartridge can be rotated clockwise to bring it to bevel left position before pushing the plunger. Now. Push the plunger forward where leading haptic enters either haptic tip pointing left or pointing downward or pointing right. Keep pushing the plunger until optic starts exiting the cartridge and rotate the cartridge further clockwise as per the requirement. At this time, the movement of the eyeball and entry of the IOL within the eye can be controlled using instrument from side port. Once enough of the optic exits, rotate the cartridge counterclockwise to bring in bevel down position and push the plunger forward to deliver trailing haptic in the capsular bag. This way the lens will open with its anterior side facing up in the capsular bag. In case trailing haptic is improperly folded and is not completely over the optic, while attempting the IOL delivery, no need to rotate the cartridge after inserting the tip in the incision with bevel down position. In that case, push the plunger slowly and completely to deliver the trailing haptic safely within the capsular bag. However, still there are chances that the lens or any of the lens part may get damaged. Hence, it is desired to fold the trailing haptic properly and put it over the optic. Enjoy using this advanced delivery system to implant biotech hydrophobic range of IOLs.